we'll just start to construct our data input. So when we think of a journal entry, I'm going to put the headers up top. It'll typically include a date. Then we're going to have the account, accounts that will be impacted, tab, debits, and then credits. Let's put debits, credits. So that's going to be my header. I'll typically make the headers black and white. So I'm going to select the headers up top. I'm going to go to the bucket in the font group, home tab, font group. Hit the bucket. Let's make those black. And then we'll make the lettering here on the A white, black and white on the lettering. And then I'll, I'll often center. Sometimes I like the accounts not to be centered. So I'll center like these two and maybe the date one. So let's go to the alignment area and center them. And then I'll go to the date, maybe alignment and center. And then I want to make the accounts a little bit larger. So I'm going to put my cursor between F and G. So where it looks like that, left click on it and we'll drag a bit to the right. So now we've got a bit more space there. So now we'll do a little bit of the formatting on the date area. I'd like to format it in such a way that I see the date. So it, there's a couple ways you can do that. You can hit the number drop down here and you could say, okay, I want to see it like a date type formatting. How about a short date? So if I said 01, uh, 02 or something like that, there it does it. But notice it gives me the year there. And really, I don't want the year because I want to make it like a generic type of problem. So I would look, I'd like it to just say 115. So I'm going to try to do a special date range formula to just show that and not give me the year. So I'm going to go to the right click on that and I'm going to go down to the format cells to do that. And notice that it's going to the type that I have here. It's in the date format. I'm in the number area, date format. And you can see the date format here. I'd like to adjust, in essence, that formatting. If I'm on that formatting, and then I go to the bottom here, and you can see I, I got one uh, 314. They actually have it right there, 314. That's the one I'm going to pick. If they didn't have that, sometimes I don't think they always do without the year. Then you can go on to this date range. You can go to the bottom, and you can customize it by simply taking off the year. So here's the, here's the format that's currently there. I'm going to say, okay, I'm just going to remove the year component. So let's get rid of the year and I'm going to do 